Uh, tell us the business is celebrating a year and a half of already being open. The owner says Fulton Street Books and Coffee is the only black owned brick and mortar bookstore in the city of Tulsa. News on 6's Meredith McCown is live there this morning at Latimer in Denver and she's got a lot to show us. Hey Meredith. Hey, good morning, guys. So right now we are in the coffee section of Fulton Street Books and Coffee. You can see the coffee shop in the background. They're getting the muffins warmed up. We've got our little coffee cup here and it smells amazing. I gotta tell you, we feel like we've been waking up with the smell of coffee this morning. And then you walk through this door and it's the bookstore. And this is where we're gonna find the owner herself, Onika and Asamoah Caesar. Good morning, Good Onika. Morning. And this is her beautiful daughter, Hadessa. She's two. <laughs> um, and so, hey guys, so tell us how uh, y'all opened about a year and a half ago. Yes. Um, so tell us what business has been like since then. You opened two during such a crazy time. Yeah, so we have only ever known business as being open in a pandemic. So it has been exciting and also stressful at times, but we're really excited to be here in community doing um, the work that we wanna do as far as literacy and building community. And absolutely, what has it been like to you to have the kind of bookstore and coffee shop dynamic? I think that's so unique and fun. Yeah, I've only ever wanted a bookstore. It's what I always said. We added the coffee component, and I think it's been a great amenity for folks who come in. We have two different types of customers, folks that come for the books and get excited because there's coffee, and folks that come for the coffee and get excited because there are books. So it's been great to have both kind of a win-win situation. Exactly. Y'all have a really special kind of material and focus yes. here. So kind of talk about the, the books you, that you sell here. Yeah, so we center the stories, the narratives, the lived experiences of people of color, marginalized communities. So most, most of the books that you'll find on our shelves are um, books about black folks, brown folks, marginalized communities. At any point, at least upwards of 80, 85% of the books on our shelves are gonna be representing those voices. And I mean, like we've talked about being the only right now black owned uh, brick and mortar bookstore in yeah. the city of Tulsa. What is that like to, to hold that um, title right now and to be able yeah. to sell this kind of, these kind of books? Yeah, part of me is just very thankful that we get to operate in this space and in this time. As you know, it's the centennial year. And so there has been a resurgence of black owned businesses. And so we're excited to be part of the third wave of young entrepreneurs who are, you know, carrying the torch of Black Wall Street in Greenwood. So that, I would say, is one thing. And then on the other hand, it's just really exciting to be validated, that folks are craving more diverse literature, that they want to read about stories that we don't typically see in some of our, our you know, uh, main bookstores. So Absolutely. it's really exciting to be here. Yes, and something really special too. A couple weeks ago, Tyler Lockett, the Tulsa native who plays for the Seahawks, featured yes. y'all's store on his cleats um, for his pregame. And so what was that like? I mean, he posted it on his Instagram and <laughs> social media. Y'all got some publicity. Yeah. How has that been? So I didn't know it was coming. Uh, it was definitely a surprise for me, but it was just so nice. One, Tyler has been amazing. This is his hometown. And for him to continue to highlight businesses here has just been amazing. And so we are super grateful to have been a recipient of that. And it was super cool to be shouted out on such a large platform. Yes, absolutely. And something really special too is um, he's kind of partnering with y'all yes. for something we're going to show them here so talk about these bookmarks that uh, have his face on him and everything yes so because you keep me so because tulsa is tyler's hometown and also because this is the centennial year tyler decided to partner with us to um, get these bookmarks out each one features a different fact about the history of Tulsa, Greenwood, wow. and Black Wall Street. So it's really telling the story of Tulsa. And it also goes back to benefit businesses. Exactly. So Tyler is ensuring that the funds are going to support other businesses and community. Absolutely. Well, uh, Anika, thank you so much. And then kind of talk about, too, people want to come check y'all out. What are the um, hours? What do people need yes. to know if they want to come and stop by? You also have an online store, too. We do. We do. So you can check us out online at FultonStreet918.com. You can also find <laughs> us in store. We're over here at 210 West Latimer Street here in Tulsa. And you can find us on Instagram at FultonStreet918. Perfect. Well, Onika, thank you so much for thank taking time you. this morning. We'll go ahead and send it back to you guys. Wanted some of that <laughs> microphone well, there. I think we have a budding reporter there in her That's arms. Right. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Adorable. She was ready to take it away. Thank you so much, Meredith. <laughs>